Hey wonderful people of the internet, my name is Alec. Originally I didn't plan making this video, I, I was actually sat making something completely different. But I took notice of something from another YouTuber who recently talked about Payday 3 and some statements from Elmir. He's been known for many years to be the one who delivers news and, you know, basically is a, the outward face of Payday and Starbreeze. And to Starbreeze, I have one question. Who the fuck do you think you are? How dare you sit there and almost guilt trip your customers into supporting you? Now, for context, I want to show you this clip. This clip was originally streamed a couple of days ago on the Payday YouTube channel. I just want to raise something with the Payday community that I think is very important for us to say. You can't be a heister and say you know what i'll come back in two years maybe the game is better then like we need you to be here now and support us now if you want there to be a game in two years you know what i mean you're leaving a lot to chance if you're a big payday fan and you're just hoping or assuming that payday 3 will be around in five years if you do not support payday 3 right now you know what i mean so this is a call to action to everyone in the payday community. If you like what we're cooking now, if you feel that we've listened to you, support us, play the game, buy our DLC. In this clip, Almir basically says that, well, if you want to see Payday 3 in a couple of years, still see new updates, DLC, content, whatever, you have to support them now. You have to play their game and obviously buy their DLCs. And while it's true what he's saying, it is true if you have a game. Obviously, if you want to see that game continue being supported, continue seeing content updates, DLCs and whatnot, obviously that needs to be funded somehow. So it's not, it's not like the thought behind this is wrong. It's right. You need a community to back up a product and that goes for anything it doesn't have to be a, a game it could be a tv show it could be uh, a book series it, whatever it doesn't matter obviously if you don't have paying customers to pay the bills you have to close down and go do something else that's not the issue here but you cannot not sit there and ask your community to do it for you you don't call for action as you say by telling us what to do you provide us the customers fan base the players you provide us what you promised and even beyond that you have to deliver in order for us to trust you you have to gain the trust you do that by releasing content by releasing dlcs that are actually good and this is what is mind blowing to me because recently they uh, they released Boys in Blue, the newest DLC for Payday 3. And I've played it a lot and I've actually gotten back into the game over the last couple of weeks and I've had a lot of fun. I've been streaming it on this channel. Please like and subscribe if you want to see me play it again, if I ever will, oh, who knows. Anyways, I've actually been enjoying the game. Many times while streaming I've criticized the game but I've always maintained one point and that is Payday 3 isn't a bad game. It's not a bad game. Obviously, it had a really rough launch. It wasn't working at launch. But if we look a bit past that, at the current state, it's playable and it's not a bad game. You can obviously make the argument that it's not a good payday game. I like to make that argument. I'm not going to do that here. But overall, Payday 3 is not a bad game. And with the new DLC, I actually kind of saw some changes where I'm like, okay, this is actually a good DLC. They priced it way more accurately. It's a lot better value when you buy the new DLC. So I was actually starting to be a bit hopeful and I guess my faith and trust was starting to get back. That was awesome. I love Payday 2 and I want to love Payday 3 as well. And since I already enjoy it, for me it felt like we weren't that far off to finally start seeing some real positive changes. But seeing a front figure of Starbreeze go out and call for action as he says, and say you have to support us otherwise you're just leaving it to chance. Listen dude, I know you guys released boys in blue and you had a lot of support but just get down from the horse a minute because we're not up in the skies yet you haven't revived the game yet 
there are still plenty of things that need to be fixed and added. We still don't have VoIP. One of the most basic mechanics in a modern shooter. We still have bugs. I uploaded a short video recently where you can see the UI not updating correctly. And that's, I know it's a small thing and it's not necessarily game breaking, but it is a bug. There are issues. Also, while you play the game now, a new bug has appeared. Sometimes you can't interact with anything in the game. Yes, it's true. You guys are providing new content. You are providing bug fixes. Stuff is happening. I can tell. That's good. But you are not in a position where you can so directly say to your community, you need to support us and you need to buy your DLC, otherwise you're leaving it up to chance if this game will make it. No, dude. You need to wake the fuck up, get back to work and keep cooking. And I realize it's hard and maybe you will fail. Maybe you won't make it. I don't wish for that to happen. I want Payday 3 to succeed and I want there to be another game afterwards. Of course, because in the end, it, all that matters is that we as customers get a product that we're happy about so we can get excited for more stuff. It's a win-win if you guys win. Because if you win, we win. But I will not fucking accept this kind of attitude towards your customer base or your fans. And I feel like this is a huge fuck finger. You're basically trying to manipulate. That's so fucked up, honestly. And maybe, maybe Elmia didn't mean it this way. Because again, as I said in the beginning, it does make sense. A game needs support if you want to see more in the future. Obviously, as soon as the interest for a game dies, you can't make stuff for it, right? Because who's gonna buy it? Everything costs money, nothing comes for free. But again, you do not tell your community what to do. People have seen this before. Developers almost guilt tripping their community and fans into buying stuff because, oh, otherwise we're going, we won't be here. It, is, it was your responsibility when you released the game to release a product that was in a state where people would buy it, enjoy it, and be hungry for more. That was your job. You failed that. You failed that at launch. But I guess since you released something that the community was uh, reacting to so positively, you thought now is the time that we can start asking for favors. You do not get to ask us for anything. You guys should deliver. And if you deliver, we will support you. Okay? That's all I wanted to say. And I'm sorry if I seem pissy or whatever, but it's just... It's really disappointing to me. It's just really disappointing. I really started feeling like, okay, they are doing it. They are actually making the comeback slowly, but surely. But with this kind of attitude, I don't know, man. It also screams that they have issues because you don't say stuff like that unless you need the support, right? And that means they need more money or whatever. So yeah, that is, uh, I did not expect to sit on a Sunday evening and get pissed, but uh, you know, here we are. All right, well, hopefully, um, yeah, I don't know. Disappointing. Until next time, have a good time and uh, yeah, goodbye.